Hey everyone! I'm here today to compare the original XP Pen Artist 12 with the new Artist 12 Pro. I bought the Artist 12 a few months ago, and then shortly after that, the Artist 12 Pro came out. When I got the Artist 12, I was really happy with it. To be able to get a screen tablet for $200 was a dream come true. But the Artist 12 Pro takes things to a whole new level. The screen is amazing, and they've fixed all sorts of little things that make it feel really high quality. Let's start with the screen. The original Artist 12 has a regular screen where there's a space between the display and the outside surface of the tablet. This means there's a noticeable gap between where your pen touches the tablet and the actual screen. You can also see this gap makes the image slightly fuzzy. It's not terrible, and all screen tablets were like this until fairly recently, but the Artist 12 Pro has a laminated screen, meaning the screen, the pen sensor, and the outside surface are all one piece. Like on the new iPads, there's hardly any gap between the tip of the pen and the screen. This also makes the image a bit clearer. The Artist 12 Pro comes with its own stand. It only has one height, but it's definitely better than not having a stand. This stand by itself sells for $20. They also sell a nicer stand for $50. That stand is adjustable and much heavier, but for a free stand, the one that comes with the 12 Pro is just fine. The Pro has two extra buttons for a total of eight that are all programmable, and the Pro also has a physical wheel instead of a touch panel. It feels really nice. I was constantly bumping the touch panel with my hand, and it just didn't feel very good, so I much prefer the wheel. The Pro is a bit heavier, and overall it feels more high quality. The 12 Pro's pen also feels higher quality. It has a nice rubber grip, and is almost an exact copy of the pen that comes with the new Wacom Cintiqs. The pen that comes with the 12 is supposed to mimic the shape of a pencil, which is interesting, but it's really hard to tell which side has the button on it. Whenever I pick the pen up, I have to look at it to confirm I'm holding it the right way. It does have an eraser though, whereas the 12 Pro's pen does not. The 12 Pro's pen is able to sense tilt, and while I haven't found a use for this yet, it's nice to have. The USB-C connector on the 12 is angled, which might keep the cable out of your way, but in left-handed mode, it covers up the power button, which is actually really annoying. The connector is also surprisingly loose. The connector on the 12 Pro goes in straight, so it doesn't cover anything up. It also has a deep socket to keep it in place. The Artist 12's box has an uncommon clamshell design, which is hard to close and doesn't always stay shut. The 12 Pro's box has a more standard design that works well. In conclusion, the Artist 12 was an amazing value, but I always felt that if I got serious about my art, I would want to upgrade to something nicer. But with the 12 Pro, I don't think I'll ever be able to justify spending way more for a Cintiq. It's just that nice. Thanks for watching.